Well, hello again from Kingston. Don't let the sunshine fool you. It's minus 11 degrees centigrade or 12 degrees Fahrenheit out here. And it's been a difficult week weather-wise for the construction team. If you want to hear all about it, watch the whole video. Make sure you don't miss the surprise bird at the end in the wildlife section. Thanks for watching. We'll begin this week from the West End, where a great deal takes place without particular note. Crossing the West Abutment, we run across the first four spans, where the concrete and the railings are in place, and the buggies assist the removal of the brackets remaining. Then we can see the forms used to build the dividing wall, and beyond the dividing wall, the concrete is complete up to the end of span 9. On span 10, ABF are doing sterling work to lay reinforcing rod, and there's clearly work on the diaphragms that link the girders. And then, almost at the end, we see on 15, 16 and 17 work to install the walkways and safety rails that will permit work to continue on these final concrete spans. The amount of materiel and effort involved to achieve these results should not be underestimated and it's taking place whatever the weather. As we return to shore, past the bridge buggies, the sharper eyed amongst us will notice that lamp bases have already been added to the dividing wall. The bridge buggies are a valuable resource, but if we look at this crane lift from Monday, we'll see that one of them in the background is in travel mode. And it went on to spend a very short time in the west laydown for a minor modification that improved efficiency before it returned to the bridge on Tuesday, towed by a rather unusual tractor. The West Laydown is now the home of the safety boats, and it plays host to a great deal of the servicing work that's done on the project. All of the cranes must undergo annual certification and on Wednesday last week, it was the turn of the LR1200 to rise from her slumbers for that purpose. Up on Gore Road, despite freezing temperatures, the crew from Linkline Fence continued to place fillets on the fence posts. They worked steadily Monday through Wednesday, but on Thursday and Friday conditions proved too intense for them safely to continue. Monday at the East Abutment was a cold, snowy, overcast day. But despite the conditions, preparations continued to install the concrete forms on the abutment. The careful pre-positioning of forms is critical to a safe and efficient lift. Removing ice and snow and regular inspection keeps crane operations safe too. A delivery of fixings and fasteners shows that everybody means business. When you're lifting up to 2,000 pounds of steel Every item of equipment is checked. Noting the drain installation on the left of the abutment, you can see that by Monday afternoon, everything was ready for lift. In bright, clear, and relatively calm conditions on Wednesday, it was possible to place several of the sections of concrete form.
a steady series of lifts occurred throughout the day. Each demonstrating the value of clear communication and coordination between the crane operator and the ground guides. Here's how things looked on Wednesday evening. Unfortunately, the weather turned again on Thursday and Friday, with winds gusting up to 30 miles an hour, first from the south and then on Friday from the north, making operations quite difficult. But this team thrives on challenges so long as safety can be maintained. It proved possible to install one major corner section on Thursday, but on Friday the wind won out and it was time to stow the crane. Which brings us neatly to wildlife. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is appropriate. Well, that puts another winter week to bed and uh, we can only hope for better weather in the weeks ahead. Please consider subscribing and thanks for being with us. Take care now. Bye now.